Greetings, my esteemed audience. I'm checking in with a book review. We have this fine book by Mantak Chia, The Alchemy of Sexual Energy. Now, before I begin to elaborate, I would say that I have a few younger listeners, viewers, so this may perhaps not be suitable for younger, uh, a younger audience. Uh, I will not be vulgar or anything like that, but uh, yeah, if you watch this with your children or anything, it can be um, this video you can skip for now and watch by yourself. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Robert Sepper. I've been Robert Sepper maxing, and he often talks about real maxing, how to transmute sexual energy into creative energy. So this is also what this book is about. Second shout out to Inner Traditions. I will leave a link to their page below. They have a great selection of uh, esoteric books, many of uh, which I have reviewed. You can find all of the reviews on my homepage, of course, thegoldenone.se. So thank you to Inner Traditions for having so many great books. Now also a quick review of this book. It contains plenty of practical exercises, meditation exercises, and plenty of pictures as well. So if you're like Gaston and me, you like pictures in books so you know what's going on. Great stuff, great stuff indeed. I haven't tried all of the meditations uh, yet, but if you are um, an enjoyer of my book reviews, you know that I like um, practical um, instructions for meditation techniques. So anyway, I thought to elaborate on a particular teaching found in this book and in other books and speeches by the author Man uh, and that is in regards to transmuting sexual energy. So basically the point he makes in the book is that you can generate a lot of energy in your um, nether regions so to speak, but you can't store it. So you can generate a lot of energy down there by being uh, excited by the sight of a woman or the presence of a woman or the nocturnal company of a woman. So you can generate a lot of energy, you can't store it. And most often, of course, is the case that you release the dragon's breath. But when you do so, you forego an opportunity to imbue yourself with a lot of creative energy. So if you think of it like this, your dragon's breath, it has the capacity to create life. Imagine then that you continuously release that from your body. You will, um, yeah, again, you will forego the opportunity to keep that physical and spiritual energy within you. So of course, on a physical, biological level, you don't want to get rid of those uh, building blocks because it takes a lot of uh, yeah, material from your body to do it. Uh, of course, it replenishes and everything like that, but it can be good to keep in mind. Then also, the creative energy you are wasting away. If you don't release the dragon's breath, if you subdue it, so to speak, if you keep it within you, even when you're engaging with a woman, this might feel and sound counterintuitive. Of course, you want to reach climax, perhaps, if you engage in a carnal act with a woman, but if you subdue the, the urge to release, that can in turn be transmuted then into creative energy. And then you can use that creative energy to write calligraphy or something like that. Speaking of which, I hope you always like all of my calligraphy posts. If you don't, I will chimp. I will chimp if you don't like it. Uh, no, I'm joking. I um, You can like it if you want. I enjoy calligraphy at least, and I enjoy all creative things and um, so yeah you can think of it in those two ways that you can get excited that energy that spiritual and biological energy if you keep it inside of you you can use it for other endeavors but if you release it from you then yeah you will have um, a nice sensation but you will not have that creative energy and physical power within you so think of it like that and I will make a video on five reasons to not watch pornography and one of these reasons will then be this particular reason that you um, forego a lot of energy that you can keep within you. So I'm also talking now about um, every instance of releasing the dragon's breath. So it's absolute madness in my view to do it unless of course you are with a woman in particular situations but even so you could experiment with not unleashing and then you will have a lot of energy. So yeah, anyway, great stuff indeed. You can check out the book also. You can find it on Inner Traditions website there. 
my own book demigod mentality will be out in about a week so stay tuned for that now thank you for watching thank you for your support xxo boom